Here we are in the garden today to compare DC and DCC operations. Here's an LGB locomotive running on the track with its sound being triggered by magnets in the track. Very little low speed control is available with DC and the sound is limited to where you put the magnets. Compare that with a QSI DCC decoder in a locomotive. You still have the speed control issues but the sound is a whole lot more realistic. Here we'll compare the same locomotive running on DCC, pulling the passenger car from my September 2013 article. You see better sound control and extremely good low speed control. This baby will just creep along like this. And I have the ability to trigger the sounds whenever I want them, not wherever the magnets are in the track. Also, I can adjust the sound to two different levels and select between them myself. So that's why I like DCC in the garden. In the second part of this video, we're gonna move into the HO scale layout inside and finish up an operating session. This will show you how dynamic track allocation system works. We're pretending as if the we were in Santa Maria and we've got a couple of cars to spot, but we've got this tanker in our way, which we have to move out of the way first. Then we will pick up the flat car and the box car and add them to our train that's bound for Guadalupe. All of the locomotive sounds on this video were recorded from the actual locomotives. You'll recognize this locomotive from my January 2013 article using Soundtrack Tsunami Decoder. So it's time to sit back and do a little train watching as the guest locomotive from the Great Lakes Western switches out the Santa Maria yard. How much fun can one guy have on a layout? <laughs> 